Okay, we've only gotten through like a third of PP Boy's endings, so let's do this. I figured we could just start with the infamous PP scene. Um, we did Agree, which was horrible, and we did Wait, which came out to nothing. So we can just refuse to do it. See what horrible shit's gonna happen. <laughs> No, that's disgusting. I'm not gonna go pee pee on your floor. I'm not doing that. Vincent tilted his head to the side and sneered. Disgusting, huh? Vincent walked over to me and kneeled down. Do it. Take a piss on my floor. No. Vincent growled, narrowing his eyes at me. I shook my head and squirmed. No. Vincent moved his tongue in his cheek as he stood back up straight. He turned his back on me and I let out a small sigh of relief. I changed my mind. Vincent turned quickly on his heel and stomped on my stomach. My eyes shot open and I coughed as all the air pushed out of me. Do it, I want to watch. Awful. Vincent smashed my gut over and over. His heavy boot collided with my stomach. I gasped and tried to curl up. Stop, I don't. I let out loud cries until. Good job. I felt my urine pool around me and I felt the tears falling. I couldn't even look at him. Why would you... I gasped out and slowly lifted my head. Because I like it. <clears throat> Isn't that why anyone does anything? He slapped me across the face as he walked towards the door, his loud laughing echoing off the walls. Have a good night, kiddo. Okay, I think I like the waiting option the most of all of them. Eight five nine zero. Let's take that too. Ah, damn it! So he finds it every time. Fuck. Okay. So I went to the weapons table and I got that tiny key and clicked on the picture. I mean, I know we already have the picture, but just for in the game, I don't know if you like need to click on it to be able to put the combination in, but we looked at the picture, we have the key. I was able to cuff myself back into the handcuffs. I tried again to go into the weapons thing and he catches you no matter what. So maybe we need to try it another night, which is what I'm gonna try to do. Right. It's the throw up. Last time we refused, and I feel like bad things happen. Ugh. Vincent made a low growl as I did and kneeled down. Oh no. Oh! Ew! Why is he so nasty? Oh no, I clutched his arm and pressed my lips into his. I could feel his tongue pushing into mine. It, it would throw up, ew, what? Like he couldn't, ugh. I couldn't think anymore. No? What? I will never, never, for the life of me, understand the thought process of the main character. I'm so confused. Uh-oh. And he's in it. He's, he's kneeling in the pile of throw up. And he's all about it. That is horrific. Horrific. So this is the part where this guy wants to fight us. Or Farts is like, hey, we need to make sure that they're strong enough to hang around for your transformation or whatever. And we stab we almost stabbed him and we got shot. But we have an orange heart, which, yes. So we have an orange heart, which is almost to the red. So I wonder, we, I mean, I don't think he's gonna let us kill this guy, but 
maybe stop us without shooting us. So I kind of want to see that, and then if that doesn't work, we'll go back and not shoot this guy, I guess. <laughs> or kill this guy. Oh, we also haven't attacked Vincent yet, so that's another thing that we could do. I mean, it, we'll die, but <laughs> we can do it. Okay. So we get... We get shot no matter what. Okay. So I guess let's try to attack Vincent. I got up and gripped the knife. I had to try. I charged at him and he dodged my blade. Whoa, shit! He licked his lips and moved quickly behind me. I wasn't fast enough, but I was already hurt. He grabbed my arm and twisted it behind my back, pushing down hard. You know, I was starting to like you a bit, but if you're gonna make life hard, Farts was right. You're not worth keeping around. He grabbed the back of my head and pushed me down into the ground. Sorry, pup. He grabbed my hair and started to smash my head into the concrete floor. The pain radiated through my face as he repeatedly bashed my face into the ground. I could feel all my front teeth breaking inwards. Blood filled up my senses as he dropped me on the ground. Pity. Okay, so let's do it the not dying way. <laughs> so we won't take the knife. Ooh, okay. I picked up the key from under the radiator and looked at it. I was glad I went looking around the first day. I might have never gotten out of the cuffs. I was too tired today. I unlocked the cuff. Now I could look around. I guess let's see what's around. Vincent Metz Metzger. Okay. Yeah, that's me. Oh, no. Fuck. What of it? I turned quickly. He didn't look like he was going to attack me. You were in the army? I asked as I held out the dog tags for him. Yeah, I was once. He took the tags and looked at them. Why'd you leave? I got attacked by a werewolf. That's why I look like I got into a fight with a blender and lost. <laughs> what? Do you remember anything before that? Vincent paused, looking for the words. No. He tapped his skull and shrugged. I lost it all in a car accident. All my childhood memories. Lost my family, too, except my dad. He nodded his head towards the spot on the floor, and I walked in that direction. I sat down, and he cuffed me back to the radiator. <laughs> the key? I smiled sheepishly and gave him the key. I know you took it, brat. He tussled my hair and looked at it. You're pretty brave. Brave or stupid. It's one of those two things. Stay in this spot, all right? Okay. He held out a can and shook it. I took it and looked at it. It looked like a food supplement. What is it with these characters and food supplements? Like, Sano had food supplements, he does? Like, I understand he's a werewolf, but don't they still eat regular food? It's all I really had. That's not dog food. <sighs> of course. Of course he eats dog food. Why wouldn't he eat dog food? That's stupid me. <laughs> Do you have a dog? You could say that. Sleep. It'll be better if you do. Vincent got up and left me alone again. I drank the rest of the cold drink and sighed as I went back to bed. I bounced in anticipation. I wanted Vincent to come in for the day. I needed him, of course. I felt the door open and I looked at it. I felt so excited. Does he have ears? <laughs> He leaned over me and I looked at his ears. What's your problem? Did I have a problem? Yes. I just wanted to play with Vincent. He sniffed me and dug his claws into my arm. I have zero comment about his ears. Zero. Unfazed. 
just, okay, you've got ears and claws now. Tight. I moaned out with pain and delight as he pushed his nails into my flesh. Ugh. Vincent started to pant as his tail moved back and forth. God damn it. It was so cute. I... He reached down and bit my arm. It felt like a delicate nibble at first. I leaned back, let him bite me. I moaned out again and made his ear perk. Ugh. He growled lightly as he started to bite harder. I felt his teeth tear my flesh and I moaned out. It didn't even hurt anymore. That, that's not how bites work. That's, I knew it was supposed to. I laughed and laid back. Eat me, Mr. Wolf. I taunted playfully as he chewed my skin. He looked more excited and bloodthirsty. He pushed his fingers into my stomach and I screeched. I could feel the tears welling up on the corner of my eyes as he pushed his teeth into my soft innards. I could feel his fingers ripping at my skin. I let out a pleasured sound. What was happening to me? Why did I like this so much? I let my eyes roll back into my head as I panted. He was eating me. He was yanking out my guts and chewing on them like gum. Why does he have like the, a blonde, like? <laughs> he let out a loud howl as he ripped through me. Everything was going cold, but I couldn't stop giggling. Eat me alive. Everything went black. All I could hear was chewing. Tight. All right, see if it works this time. I breathed a deep sigh of relief as I grabbed the shotgun off the rack. Maybe I could kill that bastard this time. I heard the door opening and I quickly shut the locker, scrambling back to my spot on the floor. I didn't bother locking my hand this time. Vincent walked into the room and closed the door behind him. Now was my chance. Just shoot him. I got up and aimed the gun at him. Whoa, wait a second. Vincent said, looking at the gun, and then at me. You don't wanna... Oh, I do. I do wanna. I cut him short. I shot straight into his chest, and he fell backwards. I smiled and held the gun close. I needed to shoot him in the head now. Double tap. It wouldn't be too hard if he was down. I walked over and aimed the shotgun at his face. But before I could pull the trigger, he grabbed the barrel and yanked it away. He bashed the butt of the shotgun into my nose and snarled loudly. What the fuck did I just say? He stood over me and growled as he pulled the pellets out of his chest. He stomped my leg and I heard it crack underneath his boot. I let out a scream as he started to dig in his chest. Why, of course it wouldn't have been that easy. Dang it. He flicked some metal pieces away and leaned down and grabbed my hair. Birdshot ain't gonna kill me. Fuck. I'm not human. He picked up the shotgun and shot it into my other leg. I could feel the pellets tearing through my skin and flesh. I let out another scream as Vincent put the tip of his boot in my mouth. Plus, it's for torturing stupid fucks like you. Target practice. I tried to scream, but he brought his foot down on my jaw. Ugh. He narrowed his eye and stepped down hard. I could feel his boot cracking my jaw. Awful. Then my throat. Ugh. Okay, so I guess threaten him this time? I aimed the gun at him. Whoa, wait a second. Drop it. I could feel myself shaking as I lowered the weapon. Vincent grabbed the barrel. You fucking idiot. You really think I would fill this with something you could kill me with? Wait, I thought we were going to threaten him. We didn't even say shit. Vincent yanked the gun from my hand and rammed the stock into my chest. I felt the air leave my lungs and I started to cough and stumble. He aimed the gun at my leg and fired. I felt pellets rip through my leg and I let out a scream as I fell to the ground. It's fucking bird shot. For teaching bastards like you a lesson. Vincent pushed his boot into the wound and I whimpered in pain. He dug his heel in and cocked his head to the side. Open your mouth. Oh no. I choked out but he wasn't interested in my apology. Open your fucking mouth. I complied and opened my mouth for him. Why would I do that? I mean, I'm, he's gonna kill me. Why would I? Okay. He smirked and shoved the barrel of the gun into my mouth. I could feel the steel in my throat as he started to rub it in and out. Of course, 
Oh no. I could see him pulling the trigger and the pellets entered the back of my throat. I coughed up blood and laid to the side. Too bad, I was starting to like you. Fuck. I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, so instead of going to the table or going to the weapons locker, I'm just gonna go back to sleep. But then we go crazy, so. I'm doing great. <laughs> I was too tired to keep looking around. I sat back down and locked myself back into the cuff. I closed my eyes and went back to sleep. Oh, and then does he still eat me? He does, he still eats me. Okay. So there's a part where you struggle. So if you struggle, you get wrapped with the barbed wire. And then we tried to kick him while wrapped in the barbed wire and it didn't work, but we're not wrapped up. Our legs are free. So I'm wondering what would happen if we kicked him in his dumb face. I kicked my leg. Vincent laughed and stood up. He pulled a lighter out of his pocket. He picked up a small box and slid a cigarette out of it. He kneeled down and rubbed my other foot with his hand. Vincent lit the tip and took in a breath of smoke. You know, any other day, I might have been into you kicking me. But honestly, I really don't have a lot of patience for it right now. Vincent hovered just a moment and pushed his cigarette into my uncut foot, tight. I let out a loud scream as the hot cinders touched my skin. He started to grind the cigarette into my skin. It started to root on my nerves, sending the pain shooting up my ankles. I clenched my teeth and felt Vincent blow the cigarette smoke into my face. You shouldn't kick me, kiddo. He took away the cigarette and looked at the tip. Hardcore! I kicked him again. You're fucking kidding me, right? He didn't say another word before he punched me in the face. All I saw were stars. I opened my eyes and looked around. The bunker was dark. How long was I out? I sighed and yanked the handcuff. Oh, okay, so he just knocks our ass out. Nothing good came out of that. So let's just keep trying. So I'll kick him and then I'll apologize for it. I'm like, sorry, bro. I bit my lip as he looked back at me. Sorry. I choked out as he put his hand on my thigh. Oh no. Hey now, don't worry about it. Just don't do it again and we'll be all good. I quickly nodded as he caressed my skin. Be good now. This one, I think it's his affection up the most. I don't want him to eat me at the same time. <laughs> so I guess I'll try it with this and then maybe do wait and see if I can unlock some new stuff. Okay, so this is where he's trying to pour the Everclear. We're gonna tell him no. Okay, he did it anyways. <laughs> Get fucked, I'm not doing that. Uh, maybe I'll do it. Uh, gross. I have watched Vincent walk away from me and run his hand through his hair. He seemed frustrated by something. I rubbed my knees together. I let out a small sound and Vincent looked over his shoulder at me. What's your problem? What's yours? A smart ass, hmm? I'm pissed off and trying to calm down so I don't cut you from toe to chin. My toes curled thinking about his threat, but... I don't wanna. <laughs> so let's not say anything. I kept my mouth shut and Vincent snorted. That's what I thought. He moved towards me. I heard a loud banging on the door. Oh. Okay. And then he eats us! God damn it. Alright, I have to go do the gross thing. Ugh, oh no. <sighs> what are you doing? Yeah, what, what am I doing? If you want to take your aggression out on me. Jesus fucking. 
I could feel myself blushing and my heart pounding as he moved closer to me. He leaned in and sniffed my neck. Vincent let out a pleasured sound and pushed me on the floor. He sat down on my legs. I laid still for him and tensed up. My body was stiff, but I was breathing hard, looking at his knuckles as he cracked them. He put out his hand in front of my face and I looked at it. I pressed I pressed my lips against his rough knuckles and licked the ridges of his fist. What the fuck? <laughs> Hurt me, I can take it. Vincent scoffed and punched me right in the face. I could feel the blood pouring out of my nose, but I felt like he was holding back. I licked my own blood as his eye locked onto my body. He pulled back and punched me in the stomach. I could feel the air pushing, escaping me. I let out a gasp of pain, but my legs were shaking with excitement underneath him. Oh no. I licked my lips and looked up at him pleading. Vincent's hand shot out and wrapped around my throat, pushing hard. My head started to swim. What makes you think you can? I'm trying to unbutton his pantalones. No. He's literally choking me and I'm like, unbutton your pants. I must have sounded crazy. Yes! Why should he trust me with that? Why indeed? Because I will bite it off. Go for it. Okay. I made a happy sound as he put his arms out. I shifted towards him and let him hold me for a moment. I ran my fingers along his scars as he let out a soft sigh. This is nice. Jeez, fuck. <laughs> my face is still bleeding for where he punched me. And I'm just like, yeah, this is like so sweet of you. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so then this guy shows up. Oh, okay. So I guess I won't take the knife and then... You're fucking kidding, right? He rolled his eye and looked at farts. Go ahead. They don't have fight left in them. He stepped out of the way. He stepped over me and put his foot on my knee, pushing down. I want to kill you. If you're gonna just sit there, then I'll make it easier for me. We can work together. You don't have to do this. He snorted loudly and stabbed me. I let out a loud scream and put my hands around his, trying to push him off. He was a lot stronger than he looked. Why would I want to help you? He twisted the knife and leaned in. I let out a low hiss between my teeth as the pain shot through my stomach. I like him more than you. Vincent watched with a grin on his face. He pushed the blade through my stomach, spilling my guts all over the floor. I stared in disbelief at the pile of viscera. I fell on my side and looked up at him. He was breathing fast and tucked his hair behind his ear. You were easy. Vincent came up from behind him and wrapped his arms around Farts' shoulders. Shit, you're still a fucking badass. I guess, I mean, I'm chained, like I'm tied up on the floor. I've got, I'm handcuffed to the ground and I couldn't defend myself. And he came over and stabbed me, but you know, what a badass. <laughs> he replaced me. I felt like I would have been replacing Farts. I feel like Farts was first, right? Okay, so I guess he wants us to kill this guy, so I'm gonna do that, I guess. Alright. And there. I felt good. I took the knife and smiled at it. Yep. And I still get shot! Son of a bitch! So what the fuck? Oh fuck, what was the code? Uh, I don't remember. Oh no. The locker wailed loudly. The sound of the alarm bounced off the walls and I clapped my hands over my ears. It was so loud that there was no way that Vincent hadn't heard it. 
It, as quickly as it started, it stopped. I blinked as I looked up. Maybe he was out? I didn't hear anything as I took my hands off my ears. In an instant, I could feel a hand on the back of my head as my face collided with the storage locker. Blood poured out of my nose as a searing pain shot up my face. I stumbled as I turned around, looking up at Vincent. He didn't look like he was in the mood for an excuse. Don't. Don't what? You want to see what's in there so bad? Vincent kicked me out of the way and quickly keyed in the code. Oh, look! He pulled out a large knife and stepped closer. I scrambled to my feet and tried to run. I cringed, feeling the pain in my feet. I ran away from him. It was almost like he was giving me a head start. I put my hand over my mouth, wanting to cry as I grabbed the wheel on the steel door that was my only exit out. But I couldn't spin it fast enough. It was too heavy. My breathing sped up as he grabbed me. My heart sank as I felt a heavy hand on my shoulder. He spun me around and forced me to look at him. Gotcha. Vincent jammed the knife between my legs and into- Oh no! I love paying catch. I could feel the knife blade digging into me and I let out a loud cry. Look, you're excited too. He licked my neck and smirked. Ugh! Ugh! No, I- Oh. Oh no. Oh no! I couldn't feel anything as I watched him lick his lips. Yikes. Okay, maybe I just don't fuck with the weapons thing. <laughs> Unless I look at the picture first. Oh fuck, did I just die? Vincent slapped my face. I could feel myself getting more tired. Hey, what's your problem? It, this isn't that bad. Vincent sighed as he stood up straight. Well, you couldn't take this much, hmm. Vincent put his foot on my chest, forcing me down to the floor. I'll make it quick. He lifted his boot and smashed it into my chest. I let out a gasp as he stomped my ribs in. I could hear my bones cracking, but I couldn't scream. I was too tired. Sorry, kiddo. We couldn't have much more fun. I didn't think I was gonna die! <laughs> Okay, uh, this time I went back to the bar. So the whole time I've been trying to like keep his, um, it's not necessarily affection, but keep his uh, heart color pretty high. So I had been leaving with him. I've been drinking and then leaving with him, but this time I didn't leave with him. I just tried to leave and they caught me in the alley. So now I'm trying to defend myself with a knife. And I got something different, so. I picked up the knife and tried to focus on it. I felt a bit dizzy. Fine. I charged the other guy and took a swing in his direction. I could feel his knee colliding with my stomach. He was stronger than he looked. I started to cough and he laughed, pulling my hair roughly. You can't even stand up. He yanked me hard into the ground, grinding his heel into my back. He stomped down hard and scoffed. You're so pathetic. He sat down on my back and took the knife out of my hand without resistance. Fuck you. He pushed my head into the cement and I could feel my face bounce off the floor. He sat down on my back and twisted his hand into my hair. Vincent's had enough fun with you. It's my turn. He carved the knife down my back, cutting deep. I let out a scream as he traced the ridges of my spine with the tip of the knife. Yikes. I struggled as he tapped the bones with the tip of his knife. He pushed the knife into my side and I let out a loud scream. The pain shot down my leg and I scratched to get away from him. It was blinding. Stop! I could only scream as he twisted the knife. It made me feel sick. Everything was going dark. Holy shit, farts! Fuck! Vincent moved away from me and over to the big door. Vincent opened the door and looked at the little brunette. That little shit got out last night. Watch, o watch over them, farts. I gotta- What happened to him? I gotta go pick up shit for tomorrow night. Of course, Vincent. Vincent leaned down and gave him a small sniff and a kiss behind the ear before he walked away. Why is he all beat up? Farts slammed the giant door shut and spun the wheel, sealing both of us inside. He climbed up on Vincent's table and kept his eyes on me. 
Maybe I could be like, hey, Vincent's not great. Look what he did to you. Look what he did to me. Let's let's get rid of him and then we don't have to worry about looking like this all the time. <sighs> hey, shut up. No one gave you permission to talk. Shit. Those are cute ear cuffs. Oh, you think so? Farts put his hands to his ears. Vincent gave them to me. He sounded proud and gave me a happy sigh. Relic of his youth or something. He doesn't remember, but he says they look better on me. He stuck out his tongue and showed me a tongue ring. He's real good to you if you treat him right. Not that you'd know shit about that. Maybe you can teach me? I needed to appeal to him. I didn't know what else to do and Farts was safe with Vincent. You want me to teach you how to be a masochist? It's not taught, it's something that you just have. I crawled towards Farts and felt my arm hitch on the radiator. Farts got out of his spot and stood above me, just out of reach. Please, I just want to be useful to you. Farts scoffed and kicked me in the stomach. He hit hard. What use are you to me? I put my hands on his foot and he kicked me away. I can help you with anything. Whatever you want, name it. Farts rubbed his chin and grabbed my head. Anything, huh? Vincent needs your blood. I don't know why. Maybe just because he needs to drink it because of his werewolf thing. You can give it to me. I watched Farts reach back into his back pocket and pull out a knife. I flinched and moved back. Don't you want me to teach you? I'm going to teach you. All right, let's just get this death out of the way. I crawled over to him. Please teach me. Farts grabbed my arm and looked at the veins in my arm. Your life doesn't belong to you anymore. It's mine and Vincent's, and we can do whatever we want to you. Farts grabbed my arm and sliced it without even thinking twice. The blood dripped out of it and I screamed, holding my arm in pain. I could feel myself getting tired and looking up. I couldn't keep focus on the man in front of me. I could feel Farts stepping on my back. You're so weak. Everything went black. So, let's try saying something else, I guess. <laughs> so this time I'm just gonna not say anything. You're lucky, you know. He's pretty violent around these times. You're lucky he didn't kill you. Aw. We'll, we'll do both. We'll do the dumb one and then we'll go back and do this. <laughs> You're crazy if you think getting tortured is lucky. You think this is bad? Just wait and see what he's got for you. He scratched his knife across the tabletop, then picked his nails. It's not pretty. Maybe you can teach me? Oh. It's just the same thing. No, fuck off. Farz took out a knife and flicked it open. He looked at the tip and pushed it into his finger. You know, I could help you understand. He got up from the table and played with his knife. I backed up into the radiator and Farz kneeled down. Let's play a little game. No, I don't want to play a game with you. Farts punched me in the face. I could feel myself getting tired and looking up. Oh. Oh. He lit up and pointed to the ground. Good choice. Put your hand out and spread your fingers wide. Is it gonna do that thing where you like go between the fingers? He spread out his fingers and put his palm down on the floor. I copied him and he put his knife between my fingers. Watch. He started to stab between my fingers. Farts' motion was so quick that I almost couldn't keep up with my eyes. I fidgeted and Farts cut my finger. I let out a scream as he sliced into my finger. The knife almost hit my bone as I tried to pull back my hand. Farts grabbed my wrist and forced my hand back down. I'm not done. I need someone to practice on. I put my hand back down, shaking, but I didn't want to infuriate him more. Farts started to stab between my fingers quickly again. I couldn't even keep up with his movements. He cut me on some stabs. Most of them missed my fingers or only gave me small cuts. See? It's not so scary if you listen. Farts pulled his knife away from my shaking hand. It was bleeding and throbbing in pain. You should listen to me. I can make your life so much easier. What's left of it, at least. Farts got up and walked away, slamming the heavy metal door shut. I closed my eyes and clutched my hand close to me. Hey, wake up. I could hear Farts' voice as I opened my eyes. He kneeled down and looked at me. What? I 
have an idea. Farts unlocked me and I rubbed my wrist. Let's go out. Okay. Awesome. I stood up and stumbled. Whoa, careful. We both looked at the door as a knob started to spin. Farts looked at me and narrowed his eyes. Take the fall. What? What did he mean? I stumbled on the wall and leaned against it. Vincent opened the door and looked at the two of us. He grit his teeth. What are you little shits doing? It's my fault. I guess I'll take the fall and fucking die. What the fuck? What makes you think you can just walk around like you own the place? Vincent started to advance on me. Vincent charged at me and pinned me on the wall. Get out, farts. Farts nodded and backed out of the room. I heard the door click behind him. He just left me. Oh, and he beats me up. Okay. Okay, so this time, it's his fucking fault. Yeah, right. They're the one who wanted to stretch their... Vincent put a hand up, immediately silencing farts. He put one finger to his lips. Shh. Don't play the blame game. Vincent leaned his head to the side, cracking his neck, and bolted forward. He grabbed my neck and squeezed. I don't care whose fault it is. He squeezed harder, cutting off my air. I scratched at his arm and tried to pull away. But if you want to blame farts for it... Vincent's grip got tighter as he started to grip my throat. I let out choked breaths and put my hand on his arm. I couldn't get out of his vice grip. Darling, I ain't gonna stand for that. I felt my neck snap under his hand. So maybe I say nothing? <laughs> nope. I still die. Cool, 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 cool. No, I'm not going out. Come on. I just want to take a walk. I looked at my feet and back at farts. You can lean on me if you want. I stood up and leaned on farts. I knew this was a bad idea, but could I really say no to him? He'd kill me faster than Vincent would. We both looked at the door. Ah, damn it! So, okay, I, any, anything that I do on this route is gonna end in death, so. <laughs> okay, so I feel like I've exhausted everything from this choice, so I'm gonna ask him what happened to his eye. His hand shot up to touch the swollen skin around his eye. He didn't do it because he was pissed at me. I asked him to do it. Why would you ask him to do that? You wouldn't understand. Maybe you can teach me? No, no. No, I feel like my health is too low to do this. Maybe if I go back and see if I can get my health to remain higher than this, then I can come back and do this and see if it changes anything. Okay, so I went through it again and my health is a lot higher this time. So I'm hoping we can survive the teaching thing and see what happens. Smile. I looked up at him with a defeated look. Nah, fuck off. I spat in his face. You shit. Farts charged at me and pulled out his knife. I'll teach you manners. He grabbed my face and plunged his knife into my eye. I screamed in his face. I cursed him. But no matter how much I fought and screamed, he was stronger than me. He's like this big! What? The pain shot through my face as he carved the skin around my eye. He reached in, shoving his fingers into the open wound. This is- Oh no! Farts didn't say anything as he pulled my eye from my face. I could feel my body shake and convulse in pain. I grabbed his arm and tried to push him off. It's too bad that you couldn't last. Vincent might actually like you. Okay, so I- my hypothesis was right, I just needed more health, and next time I won't antagonize him. <laughs> okay, I guess, okay, this time we'll, we'll give him a nice little... I smiled at him as best as I could. Good. He punched me in the face and I reeled back. I put my hands over my nose and tried to stop the bleeding, but I didn't cover up my smile. Go to sleep. I'll tell Vincent what you did. 
I watched the door open and listened to it slam shut. Okay. So he's still trying to get me out of here. So his heart's red now. So if I take the fall, will he still try to kill me? Oh shit, wait. Fart slipped in front of me and put his hands on Vincent's collar. Wait, Vincent, I've been talking to them. I think they'd be good to have around. I mean, I did let them out. Vincent let out a low growl and looked at Farts. Farts ran his hands up Vincent's neck into his face. He could use the help. Not everyone is gonna trust a scarred up guy like you. Vincent closed his eye and listened. We can hunt for you when you can't. Vincent put his hand over Farts's, letting out a breath. Fine. Bart smiled and pushed his hand through Vincent's hair. They're under your watch, though. I don't have long. Oh, I'll get them out of your way. Yeah. Vincent let out a gruff growl. Get the fuck out of here. Now. Fart started to back up slowly. Come on. He grabbed my hand and ran off with, with me out of the bunker. He slammed the door shut. My feet were still in pain and throbbing, but we didn't stop running till we got back into the house. I could hear a loud growl in the bunker. Ugh, he's gonna be pissy in the morning. What? Why? You were supposed to be like the sacrificial lamb. Kill one, save others, or some shit. Sometimes he doesn't get a victim for the transformation. It makes him super pissy in the morning. Sounds like fun. Ew. It is, we just have to calm him down. You'll like it, I promise. Sit down. He motioned at Vincent's bed. I took a seat and he looked at my wounds. I'll fix this up. Thanks, I guess. I told him I'd watch you, and I'm doing that. He quickly covered up my wounds and I felt much better already. Let's get some sleep. We're gonna need it. We curled up on Vincent's bed. And for once, I had a good night's sleep. The next morning, my eyes fluttered open as I pulled the warm comforter around me. You look like shit. Says you. Thanks. I think I have something that might fit you. Farts moved away and dug around in the closet. I don't know, your clothes are gonna be very small on me. <laughs> he held out a pair of shorts, nylon stockings, and a tank top. Bold. All in black. Here. What? That's a little revealing, don't you think? You wanna make Vincent happy? He's got some kinks. Some of them I bet would look better on you. Some kinks. Ugh. I slipped the soft nylons over my legs and pushed the shorts around my waist. I put on the tank top and rubbed my arm. How do I look? You look great. He walked over to me and pushed me back down on Vincent's bed. Vincent's going to be coming back up soon. We should get ready. Farts leaned over me and put his hands around my neck. He slowly pushed his hands into my neck. You better get used to this. He likes choking people. So I can see. Ugh. I nodded my head and put my hands gently on his arms. Farts rubbed my neck as we- oh. Ew. Just choking each other. You're not as strong as Vincent, but it's still fun, right? I guess. Sometimes you gotta get a piece of both worlds before you really appreciate one. You're really smart. I'm not smart, just passionate. I leaned into him and he wrapped his arms around me. What are you two doing? Oh, look at that, fancy. We turned our heads to the voice in the doorway. Vincent, you're naked. He looked exhausted as he trudged his way into the room. Cute outfit. Vincent shoved me and Farts across the bed and sat down. Farts crawled over and sat down on his lap. Vincent, how are you feeling? Like I got hit by a garbage truck. You are a garbage truck. Farts motioned me over and made a motion at his shoulders. I reached over and rubbed Vincent's shoulders. He let out a low growl and leaned back into my arms. A guy could get used to this. I reached out and held him in my arms as he put one hand on my forearm. Farts leaned in and kissed him. I watched on, tilting my head to the side, watching their passion. Vincent's eyes shifted to me. What about you? Well, I, I'm fine. I, 
You, I bet you want a collar too, huh? I'll make you a nice one. I'm good. I'm just gonna... No, I don't want that. Oh, no. We can make you feel better, sir. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> no, no, I don't want any part of this. Oh, no. No! No! Oh, my God! No! Thanks, I hated it. 